The Teddy Bear, written by David McPhail, is about a little boy and his teddy bear who are always together. Every night when the little boy went to sleep, his teddy bear was right there next to him. When the little boy went on a trip, his teddy bear went too, until one terrible day when the teddy bear was left behind. This is the wonderful story of a friend who is lost and found, and lost and found again and of a little boy who begins to understand the meaning of compassion. Come, let's read the book. The teddy bear had a good home, a warm and cozy place to sleep, many friends, and someone who loved him. The teddy bear got to go to places too, he went on trips, short trips, long trips. The boy who loved him took him everywhere. One day while traveling, the boy and his family stopped for lunch. In a moment of confusion and forgetfulness, the teddy bear was left behind. By the time he was missed and a search begun, it was too late. He was not to be found. The teddy bear was unhappy and afraid. He lay squashed in a dark, smelly place, and even though he had a fine fur coat, he was beginning to get a chill. Long hours passed. The teddy bear was despairing of ever being found. Suddenly, he felt fingers close around his leg and pulled him free. Saved! The teddy bear rejoiced. My little boy has rescued me. But the hands that held him did not belong to the little boy. When his eyes adjusted to the brightness, the teddy bear saw that he was in the grasp of a bearded man wearing a long green coat. The man held up the teddy bear and stared. Slowly, a smile spread across the man's face. Then he stuffed the teddy bear in his pocket and started walking. The teddy bear spent the rest of that day in the bearded man's pocket as he ambled through the city streets. Night came on and the man made his way home. The teddy bear lay awake looking at the stars as the bearded man slept. That night, for the first time since the teddy bear came into his life, the little boy went to bed without him. In the morning, the sad little boy went off to school, and the sad little teddy bear went back into the pocket of the long green coat as a man set out on his daily rounds. Days passed. Weeks went by, then months. The boy still missed his teddy bear. But with each passing day, he thought about him less and less. He had new toys to occupy him and new friends to keep him busy. As for the teddy bear, he missed the little boy and his old friends. But he was enjoying his new life in the company of the bearded man. Best of all, the bear still felt loved. The winter came to an end. The days grew warmer. The bearded man put away his long green coat. Now he carried the bear under his arm and as he went about his business. One spring day, the man placed the teddy bear on a park bench while he looked for something. Now it just so happened that the little boy was walking through the park that day with his mother and father. As he was passing the park bench, the little boy noticed the teddy bear. My bear! he cried, scooping up his old friend in his arms and squeezing him tight. Amazing, said the little boy's mother. 
How could this be? said the little boy's father. Then they saw the bearded man approaching. Come along, said the father. Mustn't be late, said the mother. And they all walked quickly toward the park exit. They were at the curb waiting for the light to change when they heard someone wailing. It was a bearded man. Standing in front of the bench, he cried out, My bear! My bear! Where is my bear? The traffic light turned green. The sign blinked, Walk. But instead of crossing the street, the little boy ran back into the park, back to the bench and the bearded man. Is... Is this your bear? The little boy asked, holding the teddy bear out to the man. The bearded man smiled. He took the teddy bear in his rough hands and hugged him. Thank you, he said to the little boy. I don't know what I would do without him. I know what you mean, said the little boy. I used to have one just like him. Then with his mother and father beside him, he walked back to the corner to wait for the light to change. The End Good night. The Teddy Bear Written by David McPhail David McPhail was once invited to visit an evening class in illustration at the Portland School of Art in Maine. It was winter. He drove into the parking lot behind the school and parked his car next to a large dumpster. Suddenly a man stood up in the dumpster with a teddy bear tucked under his arm. As David watched the man duck down and close the lid over his head, David never forgot it, and this experience eventually grew into the story of The Teddy Bear. David is the author and illustrator of many books for children, including Mole Music and the popular Pig Pig Stories. He lives with his family in New Hampshire. I bought this book because of the story that I read before in another David McPhail book, which I bought for my children. And it also has beautiful illustration. If you find this book, please buy it. Come, let's read the book. Good night, Mom!